tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. Homage to the Blessed One, the Worthy One, the Fully Enlightened One. Today I would like to uh, give a talk on, on the teachings of the Buddha or the Buddhist religion. And Buddhism is one of the, the major religions in the world. And Buddhism was taught by one of the greatest sages that India ever produced, Siddhartha Gautama. He was called the Buddha. The Buddha is not the name of a person, but the, the Buddha means a title. It's a title meaning one who is awake, one who is awakened in the very deepest sense of the word. And strictly speaking, the Buddha didn't teach Buddhism, but he taught the Dhamma, or Dharma as it's pronounced in Sanskrit. And Dhamma is a word that has very many profound meanings, from the gross, mundane objects of the world to the subtlest spiritual truths. And one aspect of the Dhamma also means the laws of nature, the laws of nature that govern the operation and the workings of the body and mind and its interaction with the world. So Buddha taught the, these laws of nature which also include the nature of suffering, how suffering arises and how suffering can be overcome and cease altogether. But one has to understand the, the nature of suffering, the laws of nature that produce suffering and then live in harmony with those laws of nature in order to bring suffering to an end. Some people call Buddhism a religion, and others may call it a philosophy. But if we examine the earliest texts, we'll see that it's probably most appropriately described as a psychology or even a, a psychotherapy. It does deal with religious values and it deals with philosophy and social and economic problems, but it does so by bringing all of those into the field of psychology and solving them as psychological problems. And the Buddha, <clears throat> the Buddhism is a religion that is not centered around the idea of a god. It's not theocentric. But the Buddhist teachings grew up to satisfy the deep human need. So it's more of an anthropomorphic uh, approach. It is centered around the needs of the man. It's not something that has come down from heaven to fulfill some divine purpose, but it's something that has grown up here on earth to solve the profoundest of the human needs, and that is the need to overcome suffering. The, for the, the Buddha, religion is something that is derives from our need for happiness and to attain happiness and to live in a state of, of happiness. And it's not based on fear or punishment. That the Dhamma is based on understanding the, the laws of nature that govern our mind and govern the, the interaction of the world around us. So it's based on understanding the laws of cause and effect and what actions bring us suffering and which actions bring us happiness. 
so the Buddhist teachings are based on understanding the mind and understanding the interconnectedness and the interdependence of all things around us.